What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I'm doing an intro up on my porch because it's freaking blowing like Bill Lone outside. We got a super huge, crazy, gigantic announcement for you guys. We are giving away a all expenses paid, all expenses paid hunting trip to my house. You come to my house, you come to my ranch, come to my farm, whatever you want to do, you want to chase deer, duck, whatever. But what you got to do if you want to get entered is click the link down below. Go to GuggenUncut.com. If you are a member of GuggenUncut.com, you are automatically entered to to win the free all expenses paid hunting trip out to my house to go chase deer, duck, coyotes, whatever you want. Whatever you want to hunt is all expenses paid. Come hang out with me. I've heard Bunkers TV might make an appearance. He may show up. He may not. We're not 100% sure. But if you want an all expenses paid hunting trip, all you got to do is click the link down below. You can sign up at GuggenUncut.com. If you guys don't know what Guggen Uncut is, we are posting all of the uncut videos that YouTube does not like on that platform, including this one. This video got posted on Guggen Uncut last week, so early access, and showed cleaning, gutting, preparing, everything to do with preparing outdoor game will be shown on Guggen Uncut, plus a bunch more stuff. We're, we're posting all the time, extra videos, bonus videos, behind the scenes, bloopers, live streams, FaceTimes, you name it, we're doing it at, at Guggen Uncut. And you've only got until November 7th, okay, it's only a few days away, November 7th to sign up. If you are a Guggen Uncut member by November 7th, then you are automatically entered to win the hunting trip with me. We're also giving away a bunch of other stuff, so click the link down below, GuggenUncut.com is where you can find all things uncut hunting fishing farming whatever it is uncensored uncut exactly the way you guys want it link down below enjoy the rest of today's video Shoo! bright as heck out here folks well look at that we are out here duck hunt lucy lucy where, where are you lucy lucy are you excited are you you're about to poop why why is this routine look at that it's like clockwork with this dog. I, I shoo and she shoots her poop out of her butt. Anyways, we are going duck hunting today. We're at a new property I've never ever been to. Uh, Jake, which you've seen in some videos uh, before, he also like builds stuff and, and takes care of the, the house. He's got some property. He sets fire for duck hunting. And I was like, oh, let's go out there. So we are at his spot. There's a lake out here, a puddle, a pond, and then we've got a blind over there. And we are gonna be hunting. That is the plan today. But what the challenge is, we don't, we don't just like to just go hunting just to hunt. Okay, the challenge is using an auction pew, which I'll show you here in a minute. Now, there is actually a pew auction today, gun auction today going on. And I was like, maybe we should go buy the pew and then maybe let's go duck hunting tomorrow. But I went and looked at what they had and they didn't have anything super interesting. Like a lot of their guns were like almost brand new, but like kind of crappier brands. Like I wanted something cool and vintage. And you guys know me, I own a lot of pews already. So I was like, listen, I've got, I've got a daughter now. We've got a kid. I got to start being responsible at some point. Should I go to the gun auction and buy guns I don't need? No, I shouldn't. I need to stop. I've got a problem. But are there guns that I bought from the auction from the last time that I have only shot one time in my entire life and it wasn't out of bird, it was out of clay? Yes, and that is what we brought today. And it is, I guess I'll show you here in a minute. It is a single barrel, break barrel, 20 gauge. This thing was like, I want to say it's like a hundred dollars, but I did buy it from the auction and I'll roll the clip. All right, folks, we're in the arena. It's like awkwardly quiet in here. So I'm gonna try to be quiet, but there's all the pews. We checked them out. We've seen, what, three? At least three that we're gonna try. We didn't really want to film down there just cause it's just kind of weird with pews, you know? Like we'll show you what we get if we end up getting anything. But there was three of them. One was, I'm not gonna tell you yet. They're all pretty cool. They're all very unique. Something I don't already have. So that's basically the spread. Yeah, stay tuned. Hey, now, 16, 16. Four three one. So yes, I did buy it from the auction. Single barrel, single action, break barrel, twenty gauge. I've never actually duck hunted with a twenty gauge. I don't think. But we've got some two shot steel shot, and we are ready to go. Um, the way so we're with Jake. Jake's brother's here, and then Jordan's here to film. And so we are. We've got three shooters, camera guy. So we're you know after some ducks, but hopefully some big ducks. I have yet to get on any big ducks yet this year. It's always it's just been teal, and so we've got the shot at shooting honkers, mallards, you know, gaddies, widgeon, everything, anything goes today. But we are gonna do a challenge and see if I can knock down some birds with a single barrel 20 gauge that we bought from the auction. I don't even know if this, I literally, I think I shot this thing one time in my life. And that's why I was like, I walked in my gun room last night. I'm like, I have never shot that gun. Let's, let's take that gun. So that's the plan. So it is technically an auction duck hunting challenge. Although we went to the auction technically like three months ago and bought the pew, but that's that's pretty much the plan. But Lucy's excited. She is she is stoked. We brought her so she could get some good reps in. It's gonna be cold, so hopefully she brought her big girl pants because it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit chilly. So, anyways, we're gonna grab the gear, get loaded up. Like I said, we'll go through we'll go through the strat once we get settled in. But we're gonna throw some decoys out. So you guys stay tuned.
Well, folks, this is this is her. And all, this is a hat. I, why can't I read upside down? This is a hat. Hatfield. Jake, you ever heard of Hatfield? Jake. No. Me neither. Oh, look at these guys. There's two. Teams. We got like ten minutes. How much time we have? Ten minutes. Ten. Okay, perfect. So this is what she. This is what she's good for. Break barrel, twenty gauge. Oh, no choke. Cylinder. Hatfield. Pull the lever back. Letter fire. My shoulder's probably gonna hurt after this. Even though it's twenty gauge. I feel like these guys always just kick like a freaking mule. Right, we got ducks coming in. Better get ready. You want to shoot that single in here? Yeah. Let him eat. Got him. Here. Here. Lucy, here. 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 She always does that. Why she make me work for it though? The old widge, baby. Yeah. yeah. Widge. That was 20, 20 gauge first shot. Maybe this is my new go to. This is a new daily driver. Lucy didn't break. One down, right at shooting light. Lucy. I've got Lucy hooked up just in case. She, her, excuse me. Her butt did not leave the ground. Sit. First one, baby. <laughs> Beautiful widge. Widge is honestly one of my favorite ducks to shoot. When they're like plumed out, they got the cotton top going. I know it's 30 degrees and the teal are still loving it. Got him. Nice shot, Andrew. Shit! <laughs> Bro, the 20 gauge, though. Listen, it's the old one-two punch. That's what we're going for right now. Lucy, you ready? Fetch! She's pretty good at marking them. Yeah, she is. She's <laughs> Didn't stand a chance, bro. <laughs> did not good girl. Fetch up here. She is good at marking them. She marks really well. She can't see I don't yeah, know. she's sitting in the blind and she just marked that live duck swimming in there. <laughs> good girl, here. 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 Here, all the way, all the way. Good. Green Wang. Dude, Lucy is crushing it, bro. Wanna go? Go ahead. Two of them. Fetch! Good shooting. Here. Here. Big ducks, baby. I'll be honest, I don't think I hit one. I'll give those to you. I'll give those to you, boys. <laughs> I, I, unless, what do you think? Do you think? You, do, did you? Okay, I'll, you guys got them then. I definitely missed. Here, batch, batch. Here. Pintail. Yep. Lucy. Fetch. Fetch up. Fetch up. Good. Here. Here. Right here. Yeah. There you go, boys. Another penny. Beauty. Boys. Yeah. Got four down. Lucy's crushing it, too. Good. Set. Lucy is in her element right now, bro. I'm not going to, like, I feel very out of my element with this gun right now. Like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to shoot right now. <laughs> like, it's just, I am not in the zone. But we got two. I mean, listen, this goes to show. Folks at home, listen, I'm, I'm a guy that likes nice stuff. Don't get me wrong. I've got a nice pew, $2,000 shotgun-ish. This sucker's like $100, 20 gauge, and I've dropped everything I shot at. It can be done with no choke. It can be done. So don't feel like you got to spend a ton of money on a pew, okay? You don't have to. It helps. Don't get me wrong. If you're just trying to get into duck hunting, literally single barrel. 20 gauge will do the job barely if you have lucy she'll she'll help finish the birds off but it'll do the job so you guys stay tuned here comes the one right at us get him go ahead fetch good girl here, here. Good. Yeah, you you got this bad habit. Of bring it to me short, but look at that guy, little grain wing. Shooting boys. Ooh, I hear some honk daddies. It's about to get squirrely. I can barely down a teal, so this would be interesting. Well, folks, I hadn't seen in a couple minutes. I had to, gotta break break out the dirty dog here. This is the ducks poly call. It's forty dollars. Talking about economical gear like a 20 gauge shotgun break barrel for 100 bucks at the auction 40 dollar call sounds great <laughs> it's gonna bring him in
cut to just pop, 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 pop. Lucy's getting impatient. So just like a child, I'm telling you, Lucy and kids are very similar. Whenever your kids get impatient, you always bribe them a snack. So she's had jerky. But she hasn't had a jumbo frosted honey bun from the gas station. That may or may not have blood on it. Yeah, this is this gonna make you quiet for a little while? Sit. You sit. Mm. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. It's almost frozen. Like she's throwing out like an ice cube, it's freaking hard as rock. <laughs> At least she's chewing it. Half the time she just swallows whatever I put in her mouth. Wow, that sounded wrong. Oh, ducks always smell the honey bun. Usually it's bacon. Start cooking bacon, psh, they come right in. Today, settling for a honey bun. It was fast and furious early. Slowed way down. She has the patience of a of a toddler. Look at that. There we go again. So I'm just gonna sit here and keep her occupied. Hopefully see a few more. So stay tuned. <laughs> That close, boys. Lucy, you did pretty good. I was watching you. You weren't making much motion. You're sitting in the shade over there, too. We'll blame her, though. We had two drakes and a hen. Mallard circle for like five minutes straight, at least. They were talking back at us, circling, getting low, getting high, getting low, getting high. There's not a lick of wind out here. That's what we're blaming it on. And they have lighting over there, but it's hard to make a bunch of decoys look legit when there's no wind. That's that's one tough thing. Sun's right in our face, too. I mean, we're, you know, glowing, too. So it's just a lot of factors are working against us. That was the closest we got to shooting mallards today, so far. I mean, could see more. They could maybe get up again. It was a good sign. They wanted in. It just, conditions weren't weren't prime. But Lucy, you did good, buddy. I don't, she didn't flare. You get it? Flare. Flare. Dad, yeah. dad jokes, yeah. 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 Stay tuned. See, they're all going to be... Yeah. Get him, Andrew. <laughs> I didn't have a whole lot going for me there. I suck. She's pissed. She's like, yeah, you do. You do. I don't speak dog, but she's telling me I suck. Well, we had three. Was it three? Three. Three. Three come over. I, I need to sit on the other side, I feel like. I don't have the good side, because I only got one shot. You know what I'm saying? I don't want the good side. I want the middle or the worst side. Because if those guys were on this side, they, we would have ran them out. One shot Willie over here ain't the strap. Sit. Sit. No. Shoo, well, ladies and gentlemen. That's all she wrote for today. Lucy, what do you think, pal? We got two green wings, a blue wing, a widgeon, and two pintails. So not a bad day. We, I mean, could have got a lot more. The wind really hurt us, I think. It finally started to pick up now, of course. But it was like a 10 o'clock flight. We, we kind of, I mean, we watched birds a lot. There was a lot of birds today, a lot of birds in the area. It just didn't seem like they were, they, they kind of have their pattern figured out out here. They know where they want to be and when they want to be there. And we're just picking out the dummies, the newbies, the the new guys on the block, if that makes any sense. So we got some ducks, so stay tuned. We are gonna obviously do catch, clean, cook. And if you are watching this on the Guggen Uncut app, you will see us clean them in full and process them because we can show that. And as you guys know, we can't show that on YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube and want to see all the uncut stuff, cleaning, gutting, the whole nine plus bloopers, stuff happened in this video that you probably won't see on YouTube, but we're going to put it in there because it's just not appropriate for YouTube, but it's appropriate for Google Uncut. The app will be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. And that's where we upload all the uncut videos, all the uncut hunting videos. And uh, we give uh, we post them a little bit early, a little early access. We got some really awesome giveaways and we've got live streams. We FaceTime and stuff like that. We're giving away a gun every single month as well. So Google Uncut app will be linked down below. But for those of you guys that are watching on YouTube, we'll see you guys by the back of the house when we start to get to cooking. Stay tuned. We are ready to get to cooking, and as per usual, Banjo misses the hunt, but does not miss the meal. We are ready to get these guys cooked up. We are gonna try to do, we're, we're, again, we try, I think I had this goal last year. We start basic, we've done bacon wrapped, we've done poppers for our teal, but as the season goes on, I wanna elevate 
our recipes. In fact, I've even got some cookbooks up there that we, we I'm not using cookbook today, we'll get there. But we want to elevate. I mean, we, we, in the cookbook, what was it? There was like jambalaya, there was like duck, wild rice soup. Yeah. I mean, like crazy stuff. Some like weird stuff. Some full duck. Like full, like a full blown, like a, big, like a roasted turkey. turkey. So we're gonna. This is like a. You are so tired of bacon wrapped jalapeno cream cheese filled poppers. You want to try something else, but you're not Gordon Ramsay. This is the meal for you. This is going to be duck stir fry. Super easy to make. So as you can see, we've got our duck laid out right here. These, this, that was obviously a bigger duck. These were the teal. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to slice these suckers up without cutting your finger. So do nice thin. Are you a strip guy or are you a, like a nugget guy, Banjo? What do you think? Strips. I feel like strips make sense for stir fry. Yeah. So just like this, super thin. I mean, you can put them on a little slicer if you really want to, but honestly, by the time we got that thing fired up, we would be we'd be ready to rock and roll. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and slice these guys up nice and thin. And once they're sliced up, we're gonna take them and put them in. Well, that almost gave me a heart attack doing that. This knife, me and knives don't have a good relationship to be honest with you. We're gonna go ahead and take them and we're gonna Wait, put them in, the yeah, we'll put them in the bowl first. first. So right. that's what it'll look like once it's sliced up. Once it's sliced up, then you can add us. So we have sesame seed oil. We've got, stir, this is stir fry sauce. So if you're really lazy and don't even wanna try to make something, this will probably work out great. We've got soy sauce and we've got some premium fish sauce. So what I'm just gonna do is make my own little concoction. Well, that smells like butt. Just a little bit of that, not much. I don't know if that did anything, but it sounded good. Soy sauce is gonna be your friend. Throw a little bit of soy sauce on there. And there is some sesame seed oil, which is pretty good as well. Just a little bit, you don't need much of that. And so we're gonna do that. You're gonna take your tongs, you're gonna mix this sucker up, and then you're gonna take this meat and put it on the skillet. So let's get to slicing. Looking good. We got the meat on the grill. Getting it browned up now, Banjo. Your favorite. Veggie time. So let's get the burner on. Let's get the bad guy. pot slash pan. We need a little bit of water. We throw a little bit of water in there. Set her down. Get her warmed up, steamed up. How's this looking? Pretty good. This is stir fry in a bag, ladies. That's what I'm saying. Why I called you guys just ladies? <laughs> I meant ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's I'm telling you, it's it's this is like a lazy man's stir fry right here. We can get as crazy as you want, but go ahead and throw your veggies in. I'm a big broccoli guy when it comes to stir fry. I don't know about you, Daniel. What's your favorite stir fry Ooh, thing? I don't know. Not, not sure. I would say peppers and like mushrooms. But yeah, I'd get flavor. These guys have a lot of water chestnuts, it looks like. Some peppers and mushrooms. But, oh, what am I doing? We got stir fry sauce. You just want stir fry well, sauce? I didn't know if you wanted a I can little add, too. I can add just a little bit of it. So this is soy sauce. Throw that in there. Stir fry sauce. Well, you'll probably steam the veggies and then and add. And then add this after. Yes. Okay. Which, we've got a lid. This is important. Steam the veggies up. So we're, these will actually take a little bit longer to cook than these guys. I totally forgot this was happening over here. This is on high. Please do not be burned. Okay, we're looking good. Okay, so we're gonna actually kill this because the meat can still cook a little bit once you add them. But what you wanna do is you wanna make sure no one gets salmonella and dies. So I like to brown it up and get it. I plugged the microwave oh, for you. And get it, you know, 80, 90% there. Basically, so it's still not quacking at you. And then you can add it to the vegetables. But this thing's already, they're already about there. So. I, you know, I think in a perfect world, you're supposed to cook the veggies first and then just sear the meat real quick. But either way, don't matter. Worst case scenario, you take this thing, you set it off the burner like that and let it marinate, let it do its thing. So veggies are on, we're gonna get them nice and softened up. Then we're gonna add them, mix in the stir fry sauce. Once the stir fry gets up to temp, we should be good to go. Now, rice guy. Is Min that Minute Maid rice or what? Is that what that is? I what, what are the instructions on that sucker? Does it tell you? Self-venting bag. Place so, this side down. Self venting. Has it got holes in it already? Why wouldn't the rice? Is the rice not gonna fall out? Uh, it place this side down for about three minutes in the microwave. The bag must balloon up for twenty to forty seconds. Okay, so that side down for how long? Three minutes. Okay, go ahead. It's not, is this the first time we use a microwave? Oma. No. Yeah. Is uh, we put quesadillas? Like quesadillas, right? Okay, we might make quesadillas. But anyways, we're using everything today. We're using the the stove. I guess we hadn't used the oven. The oven's the only thing we haven't used yet. But like I said, veggies. They're getting cooked up nicely. Meat's getting cooked up. Rice getting cooked up. We're making a full blown duck stir fry. Stay tuned.
duck stir fry, ladies and gentlemen. Got hair? That's a million hair. I, I'm not blaming that. That's not me. Ooh. So we got better rice. We've got some veggies. We, got, we even had some sesame seeds. We went off, boys. This is pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Look at that, what's that strat? It's been so hot, I just stabbed right through my plate. What, excuse me? Look at that. Oh, here. Double they need a double double plate that. I like to try to stab and get some stuff. Some of these great right value plates aren't the strat? Yeah, thank you. Anyways, here we go. Better rice, just winging the whole thing. Get it? So it's a dub. <laughs> I'm a dad. All right, here we go. Cheers, boys. Mmm. Whoa. All right, I'm not lying. When I say, that's, that's that might be like top five stir fries I've had in my life. I'm not even exaggerating right now. That's so good. Like, I wish I was kidding. That sauce we put on there. Oh my fire. gosh. You would never know this is duck. Mm -mm. Too it's bad amazing. Papa Beefcake isn't here. Good trick him again. Did we trick him? We tricked him with the beaver once. We definitely trick him with this one. Oh my goodness. Lucy, you achieved this. You want peace, buddy? Millie, you were there in moral support. What do you think? They, see, they didn't, even, they didn't even taste it. Dude, this is, like, I'm gonna clear this entire plate. This is, we didn't eat lunch, and I'm glad done. because, oh my gosh. All right, Gordon, you gotta try it. Oh, you big stir fry guy? Oh, yeah. You're not gonna die if you eat this. You, you told me he's allergic to bananas. Yeah. Why bananas? Us Virginia boys, man. What, what the hell? We're different. So you like stir fry, though? Oh, yeah. You're not opposed big to a good stir fry. Guy. Really? Well, this might be one of your favorite duck meals, then, because that is, like, oddly good. Dude. Like, odd, like, for some reason, I feel like in my head, I'm like, there's no way it should be tasting like this, but it does. You put that down at a restaurant? No idea. No idea. You would have no, like, it's, I'm serious when I say top five stir fries I've ever had in my life. Yeah. I'm a little hungry, and obviously I'm biased, because, like, we were the ones that chefed it off, but, like, for... What, the 20 minutes it took to cook in total, you're talking like six ingredients, literally a bag of frozen vegetables that I bought God knows what decade, and it tastes really good. Microwavable rice. I mean, we cut every corner you could cut, but still making a presentable meal. I mean, if you guys are hunting, you got a family, kids, and they like stir fry, I swear they would like this. Like, just don't tell them what it is. My plate's almost done. Banjo's gone. almost done. What would you rate that out of 10, stir fry wise? I'm thinking like eight and a half is what I was, yeah. I was like, I'm not a huge stir fry guy. I'm going to go nine. Really? Really, really good. It was, you would never, you never know it's duck. There's not a no, lick of game no, in that no. at all. I think a lot of that had to do with the time that it had in the sear pan where it could really cook down and get, well, one, we bled it out over the, uh, overnight, which is important. You put it in water. It could be salt water, it could be buttermilk, whatever. Put it in water overnight. It'll get the blood out, really, really clean it up. But then when I seared it, I seared it in different sauces. So it's cooking it through. And then I added it in to the vegetables, which also had flavor. Like the whole thing is maximum flavor. Oh, yeah. And oh. I'm not a big veggie guy. Like a cooked carrot, I don't really like. You can't taste the carrot. Everything there tasted amazing. You can't taste the veggies. No. It is absolute, oh my gosh, this is so, I'm telling you guys, this is, if you guys wanna see, not that it, it, this is like rocket science, but we're thinking about doing a beef cake cookbook where we put our favorite recipes, mmm. Wild game or not, mm. like our Cane's recipe, like we've got all sorts of stuff, not that I invented, but we could make a cookbook of all the things we like, so then that way you guys could go home and have something. Then we don't have to watch the video and have, like, I didn't, did I measure anything? I didn't, no. Just, but I need to start so I can, I start realizing how much of what I put in there. I'm just, I'm eyeballing, I'm winging, I'm whatever, but we're thinking about making a recipe book, not like for sale, like I wouldn't like actually charge money, but just something that you guys could see, because I know like, I like promoting duck hunting. I want you guys to get out there and duck hunt. But one thing about duck is if you don't know what you're doing or if you've had experience cooking it, there's a good chance you're gonna cook it and never wanna go shoot a duck again. It is not good. But I promise if you cook it like that, nobody would know, no one in your family would know that is not duck. If you are going to try cooking duck for the very first time, do exactly what we just did today. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, all the gear we talked about today, all the ducks gear will be linked in the description down below. Go check it out. And if you wanna see the complete uncut version of today, behind the scenes bloopers, bonuses, plus the cleaning process, it can be found at Guggen Uncut the app, which will also be linked in the description down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one, and peace.